Today I am going to do the personality type tag. This tag was originally created by my friend Ember Blake, who is also the one who tagged me a while ago. Let's put it like that. You're going to find the link in the description, of course. Uh, so yeah, I have taken too long already, so let's get started. <laughs> Question one, what is your Myers-Briggs personality profile? And I am an advocate, INFJT. I don't know much about this at all. I've done this test a few times, but yeah, that is what I pretty much always get. So that means that I am introverted, 97%, uh, mostly intuitive, 70%, more feeling than thinking, uh, 83%, and more judging than Prospecting. Prospecting. I don't know how to pronounce that word. 64% anyway. So those are all pretty high percentages, but I am pretty even between assertive and turbulent. That's 53% turbulent and 47% assertive. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's how it is. Question number two. According to the 16 personalities website, what are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths are that I am creative with a vivid imagination. I am insightful, meaning I can see through manipulation and see how people and events are connected. I am also inspiring and convincing, uh, decisive, determined and passionate, and altruistic. My weaknesses, I am sensitive, extremely private, perfectionist, perfectionistic, perfection, per perfectionistic, which is bad that I can't pronounce that word, uh, always need to have a cause and I burn out easily. Question number three is, do you feel that your type is accurate? If not, what did the profile get wrong? I feel like this was pretty accurate. There was a part in the text where it said that people could perceive me as extroverted, even though I am definitely not. Uh, I do not think that anyone really perceives me as an extrovert. I don't know. I mean, I, I do engage in conversation when I'm with people, especially if it's the conversation is about something that I, you know, care about. So if someone has only seen me in those kinds of situations, then maybe they could see me as extroverted. Maybe. I am really, really not though. Again, 97% introverted. So yeah, they would be wrong if they saw me like that. But anyway, apart from that, yes, I, I do feel like this, this personality test pretty much describe who I am. <laughs> Question number four is, how do you feel your personality affects your writing? I think the thing about me being insightful and seeing how people and events are connected uh, helps me describe both characters and plots in a realistic way. The thing with characters is I, I think that my characters are described in a realistic way, even though I am not all that good at understanding people at all times. I'm often a little bit uncertain about what people are feeling um, or rather why people are feeling the way they feel because I think I can I can see that okay you're angry right now I do not know why but you're angry so I don't know I think I think it affects me like that uh, which is not always a good thing uh, because ex especially uh, coupled with the fact that I'm a perfectionist um, when I create my plots, I always, not always maybe, but very often go a bit too far in trying to figure out, does this make sense? I think that is the reason why I have been working on my work in progress for uh, four years, five years, too many years, um, because I keep seeing that, no, that doesn't make sense. There is no reason for that to happen. I need to figure out a reason for that to happen and the ending doesn't make sense and this doesn't make sense. So I think those two, being insightful and a perfectionist, makes me overanalyze certain parts of my writing uh, a little bit too much. Overanalyze. Can you overanalyze too little? Question number five. Have you ever written a character with your personality type? If so, describe your character. I don't really know if I can answer this question because I don't usually consider my characters personality types when I write um, in, in, this, in this kind of way. I do on occasion write characters have, that are in one way or another inspired by me, but they're rarely 
you know, exactly like me. So it's possible, but I don't have an example. Question number six. Do you struggle to write characters with different personality types? No, I don't. Uh, again, I don't really consider personality types in this way when I write, but again, I see myself as pretty insightful and I can easily see other people's perspective uh, in a lot of issues. Not all the time, not in every issue, but usually I am pretty good at seeing pe things from other people's perspectives. And so I think that that makes me write characters with beliefs and personalities that I don't share pretty accurately anyway. Question number seven. What are your strategies for writing characters with different personality types? Uh, in general, I try to really get to the bottom of why a character behaves the way they do, why they believe the things they believe. Because while I believe that there are some innateness to personalities, there are certain things that you're just, you're just like this as a person. I also believe that we are formed by our experiences and our experiences determine at least part of our personalities. Um, so I try to get to the bottom of that. Why does this character hate this thing? Why do they love this thing? Why do they react in this very strong way to something relatively small? Or why do they handle this big, huge thing so calmly when no one else does? Basically, I try to go back in their lives a little bit and figure out where they learn to deal with things or why they never learn to deal with things or stuff like that. So I rarely go into this is just what they're like. I try to always explain it in some way. I don't know if that really counts as a strategy, but anyway, that's what I do. Question number eight. What is your favorite type of character to write? This is a very good question. Again, I don't really know if I have an answer. I can't really think of one type of character that I like writing above any other. I don't know if this is a cowardly answer, but I don't have a favorite type of character to write. I'm sorry. Question number nine is, what types of books do you like to read and write? What is especially appealing about them? I read and write a lot of fantasy and science fiction, and I do that because there are so many different ideas that you can explore in these genres that you can't really do with contemporary or things that take place in our world. At least not without going into like alternate histories and stuff, because I like, I like exploring what would happen if this ideology decided how we lived our lives, how, what would happen if this type of person was the leader or this type of person or with this type of religion or large ideas and things that form an entire society. I like exploring those kinds of things and fantasy and science fiction does that a lot and I find that fascinating. Number 10, tag people. Um, <laughs> I don't really like tagging people. I've realized that when I do tag videos that I don't like tagging people because it makes me feel like I am demanding that people do these videos. So I tag you, whoever you are, if you feel like this tag was interesting and you want to do it, consider yourself tagged. So if you're going to do it, let me know in the comments because I would love to see your answers. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.